you horrible lot. This week on Burnt Wolf Airsoft, I shall be explaining dual creep and why it's important to adjust your FPS to take into account for BB weight. Now, firstly, what is a joule? A joule is a measure of kinetic energy, and it's a far superior means for setting restrictions for things such as airsoft guns, as unlike FPS, which is only a measure of the speed of a BB in flight, joules takes into account both the speed of the BB and the mass of said BB, and it's a better way for measuring how much impact force a BB will deliver upon striking a person. You can work out the joules of an object or BB or otherwise using this simple calculation. Now, when you go to Chrono, your airsoft gun, any site worth its salt should be asking you what BB weight you are planning on using for the day shoot. This is because of the often whinged about joule creep. You see, the heavier the mass of an object, the better it holds onto its energy, like a fat man holds onto a kebab. It wants it all to itself. I can relate. Also, a heavier BB creates more pressure in the gas behind it, absorbing more of the energy before it starts to move. Here's a few examples of dual creep compared to BB weight. Notice how the FPS falls as a heavier BB is used, but the joules of energy increase. This is dual creep. The FPS drops, but the energy impacted downrange increases. Think of it like this. If for some reason I was to throw a brick at you, I probably wouldn't be able to throw it much faster than about maybe 30 feet per second. Now, I'm sure there's no doubt in your mind that although the BRICS FPS is a damn sight lower than airsoft sight limits, that if my aim was correct and I was to hit you, the brick would hurt a damn sight more than any BB on the planet, and that no sight owner in his right mind is going to allow me to run around his airsoft field chucking bricks at people. Now, just for the hell of it, let's work out the joules of impact for a brick. Okay, let's take the silly looking formula, add a brick's weight. The internet says 3.5 kilograms, bit heavier than a BB, add in 30 foot per second, and the brick would impact you at around 145.27 joules. Coming in just a tad over the joule limit for UK airsoft guns, which is around 1.1 joules for automatics, and 2.3 for sniper rifles. My dreams of setting up a Bricksoft game have been quashed. Now, because of this dual creep, it's important for you, the airsoft player, to be honest at the chronos and pick guns that perform well with your chosen weight of BB, as cheating the chrono is still a form of cheating. And it's important that all airsoft guns on a site are running at a safe level. I very much doubt, unless an airsoft gun was cringingly overpowered, that it would be capable of killing a person. However, safety gear is made to have a safe tolerance over the impact of a BB. But with wear, this safe tolerance can go down. And by fudging the chrono, you might end up breaking through some old eye pro and costing someone an eye or something, which is a bit shitty. It's also not good for people filming airsoft, as I had my GoPro shot out by someone using a hot gun some time ago. Cost me 80 quid, the bastard. And that's dual creep explained in the simplest way I can using bricks. Classy. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Anyway, back to what you were doing. At ease.